this oral TV law. Today we are going to see what we call hemolysis. You wonder what is hemolysis? It is a rupturing of red blood cells and releasing their contents into the surrounding fluids. Those fluids are like plasma and water when it is done in vitro. The normal plasma actually looks like brown, berry yellow, dark yellow, and sometimes orange and green tinge. Let's start with normal blood to see how normal blood look like. You see we have two tubes here. The first one, you see the down part is very dense, that is concentrated red blood cells. And the upper part is brownish, that is plasma. Even on the other, in the other tube, the down part is concentrated red blood cells. The upper part is plasma. This is how the normal blood looks like. The next step is to add some water to see how it's going to look like. And we'll be checking the hemolysis. Good. Here we have an empty tube. We are going to add a sample of blood with anticoagulants so that blood will not coagulate. And then we'll add some water and check to see if the red blood cells are going to be mixed with blood and to see what will happen. Good. Now let's draw some water and then add them into, I mean add it into the sample of red blood cells. Good. And then we we'll check. And we are expecting to see a translucent red color. You know, red blood cells fish, it has been dense. The color has been dense. And now it's going to be translucent. It's going like to be more transparent. Good. You see, it has already started. It has started working already. You see, the upper part is not dense as the down part. So we are going to check to see if the color is going to change. Good. Mm -hmm. Let's check. We are checking now. The down part and the upper parts are now mixed, you see. This means already water has entered into red blood cells already. Red blood cells are water soluble. Let's add more water. Good. We are adding more water. Mm -hmm. After adding more water again, we're gonna mix again or shake. And it has already started working. This is the indicator that if water is added into red blood cells, the red blood cells are going to be destroyed. The same as when you shake blood, the red blood cells or erythrocytes, I mean electrocytes, are going to be mixed with the plasma and then a hemolysis will occur. We are shaking again. Good, we are still shaking. Good. Now you see how it is looking like it has become more translucent. This is an indicator that the red blood cells got much water and then they are busted or they are ruptured. Good. This is what we call hemolysis. Then at the end, we are going to compare this blood that, under, that has undergone hemolysis with normal blood to see if there is any comparison. 
Good. You see, this small tube has normal blood. The upper part is plasma, the lower part is concentrated red blood cells. And this big tube, you see, the color has become translucent. Secretly, this upper part is plasma, is brownish color, the lower part is concentrated red blood cells. Why well, this big tube is blood that has undergone hemorrhoids. I mean hemorrhoids. You see. And this is hemolysis. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope it's very helpful. So please, don't keep this information just with yourself. Share this information to your colleagues. And see you in another video next time. May God bless you. Abba.